Dude, I just bought a brand new webcam border for my stream. Why didn't you just use Bravity's free webcam border pack? Well, yeah, he released that pack like a couple months ago and I've been using it, but I was kind of ready for an update. No, no, no. I mean the one he just released like an hour ago. He released a second one. What? Bro, you didn't... You need to turn notifications on. Are you f***ing kidding me? What the f***? Oh Bro, my that's God, my dude. phone too, asshole. God damn. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So I just wanted to start this video off real quick with saying, if you guys do hear a bit of a buzzing in the background, I do apologize. I have a 3D print running over here, and I don't want to stop it, so you're going to be hearing just kind of like a little buzz throughout this video. I apologize. I try not to print while I'm recording videos, but this one needed to be printed. But now that that is out of the way, that is right. Like you saw in the intro, we are releasing a brand new webcam border pack for webcam borders that you can download, throw into your OBS right now and have an awesome looking webcam for your stream or you can download the same link in the description and get the project files the After Effects files for these webcam borders and edit them and customize them even more to make them more customized to your stream but without further ado we're going to take a look at this webcam border pack before we do I just wanted to say that I do try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash bravitym so make sure you're jumping over there and dropping a follow and uh, maybe catching a live stream if you want to but let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and take a look at the Webcam Border Pack 2. So here we are inside of After Effects, and you see we got four comps here, Bravity Webcam 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four webcams that you can put into your stream right now. The first one looks like this. If I go ahead and turn off the transparent background, you can kind of see it's a gray, a dark gray background with some an accent color here. And then you've got this white highlight that goes all the way around. Looks fantastic, and then it loops. It's a really cool webcam, and if I hit play here, you can see kind of how the animation looks. It's got a render, so it's not gonna play super smooth, but it is super easy to change these colors for whatever you want so you see you got color border over here and if you click on color border and go up to effects controls you see you got the orange that you can change to blue if you wanted to you can change it to anything then you got the highlights with also a fill effect in the effects controls so we can have it maybe filling a lighter blue like that and then let's say you don't want the dark border here so you click on dark border and you're going to change it from the dark gray to like a light gray and there you go you got a blue webcam border that's highlighting in blue as well i'm going to go ahead and command z and take it back to my colors because I think it looks cool like that but if you don't want that webcam border you can have the same style right here you see it's the same thing only instead of one color you see it's shifting through all the colors it's got the same highlight going around you can change the colors in the same way so highlight you've got your fill right here you got your dark border that you can change to a light border but then the color border has a hue and saturation so that it just cycles through all the colors as you can see so you can have a cycling webcam like that now we're going to jump on over to Bravity Web cam three and you can see this one is pretty cool i'm gonna go ahead and turn off the transparent real quick you see we got a dark gray border with some holes cut in it on the sides and on the top and inside is a saber layer you can barely see it because it's loading but if i hit play here you can kind of see that there's some saber underneath the webcam and it looks really cool there's an easy way to just edit the saber you see we got all these saber effects layers right here this is all the same saber effect so if you do go ahead and double click on one of these compositions it opens up the saber effect comp and you can click on this green solid and this is where all your saber settings are you can change any of these uh, presets that you want you can change the color to maybe have like a green saber instead and if you go back to the webcam you see you got a green saber in here once again, I'm going to command Z it to what I had, and there you go. looks really cool. Then finally, for the fourth webcam, I did something a little bit different. A lot of people like just having a line at the bottom of their webcam. They don't like having a full border around, and if you want one of those, you got one right here. Your webcam will stick up out of the top just like this and just have a border at the bottom. And as you can see, we got some holes cut in it with Saber behind there as well. This Saber is controlled by the same exact Saber layer as the webcam 3. So if we jump into the Saber effect comp again and then change this to, I don't know, Know, like a like a red just like that jump back into the webcam and you'll see you got a red saber effect going on under there and then you can change the color border to be red as well 
there we go, or like an orange, and boom, you've got this crazy cool red looking webcam. So Command Z, and if we jump back into Webcam Border 3, you see you got red in here now, all controlled by the same one. I'm gonna Command Z it one more time, and we got everything looking blue again. So let's say you wanna export one of these webcams. Well, I've already got the in and out point set for you, so you just wanna find which one you want, just like that. It doesn't matter if you have this transparency button turned on or off, this does nothing for the export, it just shows you transparent or black. So we'll go ahead and leave it just like that. So once you're ready to export, we've got the in and out point set for you. Just want to select your composition, have your colors changed, and go up to composition, add to render queue. In this render queue here, you just want to click on lossless in blue here, and you just want to change the format from AVI to QuickTime, and then you want to change it from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The plus alpha is going to add the transparent background for you. So then you just want to hit OK, and then the output to Bravity Webcam 1 in blue here. You just want to click on that, and that's where you can name it whatever you want, save it wherever you want, and then you're pretty much done. You just want to take that file and either bring it into your OBS if you have a beastly PC, but most people are going to want to take that file and then take it to an online WebM converter and convert it to WebM and then you can add it into your OBS. But let's say you don't own After Effects and you can't download the project files, you can't jump into them and you can't change any of the colors or any of the styles that you want. Well, if you go ahead and download the same link in the description, you'll see if you jump in there, you've got a pre-exports folder and this pre-exports folder has MOVs that you can take and convert to different formats yourself or you can just go ahead and jump into the WebMs and you see you've got the WebMs already here for you that you can bring directly into OBS and you've got them already made for you pre-exported with some base colors and then once into OBS you can just apply a simple color correction and then mess with the hue shift and it'll change it to any color that you want. But guys that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the webcam border pack part two. If you guys do, make sure you drop a like and comment down below if you loved it. I'm so excited to be releasing this and I love these pack videos where I can just release a bunch of things that you guys can throw into your stream. But once again, I do just try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravitym and I will see you guys in the next video. It's okay, this is a stunt phone. This is my real phone. This is a stunt phone. It's broken. I can do that with it. <laughs>